Today, I have a very interesting problem for you guys. There is a special hamster cage which can rotate freely around its center. And we have the hamster that will run around in the cage. And the question is, how should the hamster run so that the cage does not move? To start the problem, let's imagine what happens if the hamster doesn't move. Since the hamster is pushing downwards, everything is going to rotate and basically fall, right? To solve the problem, let's think about what forces are acting on each of the bodies. For the hamster, there's going to be gravity pulling it downwards and the cage is going to push it upwards by a normal force. For the hamster to move or accelerate, we need the third force. To start running, the hamster starts pushing backwards and by Newton's third law, the ground is going to push the hamster forward by the force of friction. And depending on the how fast or how slow the hamster wants to accelerate, the frictional force will be correspondingly large or small. So, these are the three forces that are acting on the hamster. Now let's take a look at the forces that are acting on the cage. Since the hamster is pushing down the cage, there will be a normal force from the hamster to the cage downwards. And since the cage does not move, this normal force is actually equal to the weight of the hamster. Since the hamster is pushing backwards to accelerate forward, there will be a backwards frictional force from the hamster to the cage. By Newton's third law, these two frictional and normal forces will be equal and opposite to the ones that the hamster is experiencing. So, just like before, the larger the frictional force, the larger the acceleration for the hamster. So, these are the forces that are causing the cage to rotate. So we can find the total force by adding those two. Let's draw radial and tangential lines to find out exactly what portion of the total force is responsible for the rotational motion. The radial part is not responsible for the rotation since if you pull straight out of the center, the cage is not going to rotate. It is the tangential part of the force that is responsible for the rotation. So, how do you make the tangential part disappear so that the cage doesn't rotate? We need to make the total force align in the radial direction such that the projection of the total force along the tangential direction is going to be zero. We can achieve this result by only modifying the frictional force since the normal force is shown to be the same as the weight of the hamster. Now let's introduce some geometry to the problem. We can denote the height of the platform to the center of rotation as h and denote the distance of the hamster to the center of the platform to be x. Let's denote the angle between the radial direction and the height to be alpha since the total force is in the radial direction and the normal force is in the height direction, the angle between them will be also alpha. We see that we have two similar shapes. Therefore, the frictional force will be proportional to the x and the normal force is going to be proportional to the height. Now, we can further substitute. The frictional force is the only force that is responsible for the hamster's acceleration since the other two vertical forces acting on the hamster cancel each other. So we can substitute the frictional force as MA, the acceleration of the hamster. Prior, we have seen that the normal force is actually equal to the weight of the hamster, which is MG, so we can substitute that. We can cancel the masses on both sides and rearrange the equation. We just got an expression for the acceleration. The most important thing you notice from the expression is that the acceleration is directly proportional to the distance x. 
It's because G and H does not change. Let's take a look at how the forces and the acceleration vectors evolve throughout the motion. We see that, at the middle of the platform, the hamster is only experiencing a force that is downward. Because, if the hamster is experiencing a force that is in the horizontal direction, then it will exert some torque on the cage. So no horizontal force and no horizontal acceleration. At the other end, for the total force to be in the radial direction, the frictional force from the hamster to the cage has to be in the direction of the X. Thus, the acceleration has to be in the opposite direction of the distance. Actually, we can notice that the acceleration A has to be always in the opposite direction to the distance X. Our equation told us that the acceleration is directly proportional to the distance X with the proportionality constant of g over x. And whenever we have acceleration that is directly proportional and opposite to the displacement, we get a harmonic motion. The following is a harmonic motion equation that is quite useful when solving problems. If you can get your equation into this shape, then we can easily find things like angular frequency. The equation says the second order derivative of displacement equals minus angular frequency squared times displacement. Here, the second order derivative of the displacement is the acceleration and the minus sign comes from the fact that the acceleration is always in the opposite direction to the displacement. So by comparing the two equations, we can find the omega square is actually equal to g over h. So the angular frequency is equal to square root of g over h. So if we start at one end of the platform, we can write down x of t equals x0 cosine omega t. So it's just like a harmonic oscillation. The only difference is uh, the force that the hamster is experiencing is not coming from the outside, but instead the hamster chooses to exert this force onto the cage and experience it due to Newton's third law. So this was a quite interesting problem where you would not expect a harmonic oscillation to show up, but it does. I will soon make a video specifically on harmonic oscillations and why it's everywhere. So if you like this video, like, and if you have a question, you can comment, and if you want, you can subscribe for more videos like this.